Hi everyone, testing, testing, testing. This looks pretty good. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Mark. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Zen Haxt and today we're going to be doing a little bit of shipbuilding. Uh, I've often thought about making a, an old time sailing ship design in Space Engineers and today we'll do it. First of course I'm going to get rid of this 3D model I imported for the SC Tools demonstration video that I've just done. Easily done. Now I had a bit of a break from Space Engineers for about uh, eight months or so, eight or nine months. Uh, and they've done a lot of updates since then. Uh, the interface has changed pretty dramatically, at least in some areas. I really like the new Blueprints uh, system. It looks really good. I haven't had much chance to use it yet though. That'll be for another video. At the moment here I'm just setting out a basic uh, surface to start working from. Uh, if I set out this it should uh, create a, a station block, a uh, station surface and that will mean it won't float away when I start building my ship. Next thing I want to do is uh, go into the G menu and uh, select some blocks that I'm going to be using to, building, to build with. So that's an easy system uh, to use. You basically just drag whichever block you want to use down to the toolbar at the bottom. Uh, they're nine toolbars available and you switch between them by using the control key in combination with one two three four etc so an easy system to use so just grabbing the power systems uh, probably going to need a few batteries now the design I want to make is going to hopefully be able to power its own engines just from just the solar panels on it that's the idea anyway. So it'll be good to have some batteries but we will also have some uh, some powered plants as well just to make sure. Chuck in a hydrogen thruster just in case. You might want to add that for some extra speed or extra acceleration rather than speed. Now I often start with a landing gear it's a good way to stop the design from floating away into space if you accidentally bump it. And sometimes removing a block can create a, a force. I don't know if that's been patched out yet. So I just need to get it reasonably close and hopefully the landing gear itself will clamp on. You'll have to forgive me, I have forgotten some of the shortcut keys and things like that, so I may be a bit slow uh, to select the right orientation on these things. Okay, so we've got our landing gear in place, and we're just going to lay out a basic floor for the ship. I guess about 50 blocks is good. Now I need to switch on the symmetry tools again. Let's see. Not the right button. That's the blueprints. Here we are. Basic controls. And that's how we do the symmetry, is it? Okay, N and M. N for toggle symmetry and M for symmetry setup, where we actually set which orientation we want the symmetry to be. Nice and easy. Okay. Now that's going to save us a lot of work. And being a bilateral, bilaterally symmetrical species, we tend to like things to be bilaterally symmetrical. Okay, that'll do for the lowest part. I may actually sharpen it up a bit, uh, generate more of a curve. 
At this stage what I want to do is lay out the basic design, the basic shape and structure, and then it can always be refined later uh, with uh, things like sloped blocks to give it more of a curved effect uh, on the hull and things like that. It's going to look pretty jaggy at this stage uh, because we're just going to lay out yeah, the framework. In most cases it's good to come out and actually create something and then uh, work with that rather than trying to come up with a perfect design before you start. Now, let's see... This is going to be the front of the ship. Get a bit of a point going for the bow there. Start layering it up. Get that slope going up as well. Getting there. Starting to look almost like the front of a ship, which is great. I think eventually I'll stick an antenna right at the front to be uh, the pointy bit at the front of the prow. Or the prow, I think it's called. Okay, that's the walls, the sides. We've got a nice open space there to put our equipment. I'll probably add some more windows to the sides here as well. At the moment though, we're just going to set the basic structure. This is where the cabin's going to be, uh, the main control area. And we're going to have multiple levels, I think. Now, because of where the masts are going to be, it's going to be quite difficult for uh, the pilot to see directly, so he's going to have to fly in uh, third-person view. I'm also going to put a camera or two around the ship at the front and possibly at the back as well, just to provide another option uh, to steer by. want this back area to loom slightly over, uh, like the sides, uh, like an old style galleon. Start uh, thinking about where we're going to put the engines now. This looks like a good spot. And I think nine engines is going to be right for this design. We'll have to see uh, if that's enough power. The design would be a lot more complex uh, if we decided to use hydrogen and to make it work in, uh, in the uh, survival version of the game. I like to make my designs mostly in vanilla and uh, able to be made in survival by a determined person.
Though I'm not sure this would actually have much of a practical purpose. It's more for uh, aesthetics than anything. Now I wanted to go for a recessed uh, thruster design where they're not easily visible, uh, sort of recessed into the hull just to maintain that illusion of it being an, an old time ship. Probably need to still build out the back a bit more. Helps to keep the uh, thrusters in the same horizontal plane here, the rear and forward thrusters. That looks like it works. Still not enough on the sides yet though, and probably still not enough here either. We don't need quite as many uh, thrusters as I have on the back. But it's good to have a similar number. It's also often easier to lay out uh, a slab of box and then trim into shape, I find. It's starting to look a bit fat at the front there. Uh, not quite the sleek uh, prow that I was looking for. Maybe set them back a bit more. main thing is to try and be consistent whatever arrangement we try to create here. And to remember not to place any blocks in front of uh, thruster. I believe it's a three three block gap I believe from the end of the thruster that you need to leave to uh, stop anything being destroyed by the thruster I may be misremembering I haven't actually tested it out uh, since uh, I started playing again I like the idea of recess thrusters, it makes them uh, harder to damage, harder for someone to damage them. It's 
So seven is probably enough. Seven at the front and nine at the back. Hang on. One, two, three. Might only be five. Oh no, it is seven. A few more for the sides here is probably a good idea. looking a little blocky but we can always fix that up later with the sloped blocks it is looking a bit ship like which uh, is a good thing that is what we're aiming for Probably a good idea to start getting an idea of how much space is going to be taken up by this equipment, like the power plants and batteries. Start building them in now. I'm not 100% sure how much uh, power is supplied by a solar panel. We're going to have quite a few, I'm not sure how many yet, but uh, the sails of the ship are basically going to be solar panels. I'm hoping that's enough to run the ion engines on their own. But we're also going to add a lot of batteries and these uh, power plants as a backup. I was hoping for a design where perhaps you could uh, have two of these ships having a dual and uh, they only have access to the solar power for energy and uh, a limited number of batteries so that you have to uh, jockey for position to and possibly block the other ship's sails to win uh, so that they run out of power. I'm not sure how practical that would be but uh, something to look at in the future perhaps. First we've got to build one of the ships see how practical powering it that way is. It's probably an excessive number of batteries but if you are going to be relying on stored power and solar power uh, this is probably good. A few gyroscopes of course just so that we can actually turn the ship. That should be enough gyroscopes, I think. So, probably some cargo storage next. So, cargo storage, I think. So, back into the G menu. Also, grab a conveyor tube block, which you can use the mouse scroll wheel to actually change into all of the other uh, conveyor belt blocks. The same with the uh, the blocks that any block, sorry, any shortcut that has a plus on it, you can use the scroll wheel to change the type of block within that family of blocks, which is really useful. Unfortunately, 
I'm actually using a really old ancient mouse at the moment that uh, doesn't have a scroll wheel would you believe so I'm going to have to uh, get around to looking up the shortcuts for those options So, time to start building up the back here. We get an idea of what the level of the deck is going to be. This back area, of course, is going to be higher. At the moment the design is going to require that the solar panels actually block the pilot's view. It's possible though that it could redesign it, uh, perhaps with the panels raised so that it isn't blocking him or her. Definitely some windows for the sides, I think, eventually. There should still be enough room down there in the hold for people to walk back and forth. It's always good to re leave a little bit of room for somebody to get into the various components to repair them. Well, it's starting to look like a ship. It would be possible to build this in survival, but I'm not exactly being careful about the resources that I'm using to build it. I'm sure you could find a much more efficient design. Okay, that's the front good enough. Now we need to look at building this cabin and the deck. Not to mention the sails. Yeah, I was thinking about how high we're going to make this rear section.
think for now I'll leave the engines as they are. At the back there. I'm going to need to perfect the shape of this cabin area, I think. There's definitely some more room there under the deck for another another section that would be accessible by the crew. I'd also like to put in some hatches and staircases and perhaps gravity generators. And of course oxygen generators. Okay, the first mast. I'm going to put in two. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I've got this in the correct position for proportion. We'll have to see. And it looks okay. At this stage, uh, it's just a good idea to work out what the design is going to be and go from there. That looks okay. It may be slightly too far forward. Actually that one looks like it's to be a bit further back, I think. Try not to delete half the boat. That looks about right, I think. Okay, let's get some of these panels on, I think. Groups of two looks okay. Sail like. Yeah, I think we need it a bit taller than that. Maybe not that tall though. Cr 
crossbars, I think. Just to provide that extra structural support. Though I'm not sure they're actually joined at the sides. Yeah, and a tapering effect as it rises. go. Maybe just one more, I think. Yeah, that way. That looks good. The proportion seems okay too, uh, in terms of the proportion of the sails to the ship as far as the the kind of old designs that I'm thinking of. And just for extra, we will have some panels going this way as well. Not strictly accurate for an old ship to have sails going in this direction as well, but I think it uh, it works. And they do have a side to them. They're not actually symmetrical, the blocks are in one of the dimensions for the panels. So I'm going to alternate them going up. It's just going to be a little bit fiddly getting the blocks orientated correctly and the right gaps. So but with a bit of fiddling, it should look okay. I will probably have to come back afterwards and make sure they're all in the correct pattern. Both sides too, I think. There we go. Well, <laughs> not quite. Oh, even better. I'm hoping it will just rejoin that piece on. I'm not a hundred percent sure that it did though. In fact, yeah, I can see a little gap there. Leave it for now. I want to get an overall idea if this is actually going to look okay. That may be pushing too far back into the area of the cabin.
Okay, time to start matching it with the forward mast. Okay, let's start with the panels for the sides here. Or perhaps the panels for the front and back. It doesn't matter so much how they're arranged, but it'd be nice if they're kind of balanced in terms of symmetry. Well, what I think of as balanced anyway. That's halfway anyway. Now it's time for the science. Let's put in these crossbars. Possibly I should also be doing them for the Ford and back parts of these masts. Though, since they don't join on the sides, it's quite possible that it's pointless to do. Unless they act as a kind of roll cage, stopping other things from touching them, but they're not especially effective at that. It's starting to look like something. Okay, let's see. We want a camera for the front, I think. And 
here. You want a flight seat and a normal seat as well, just for extra crew. And some doors for the airlocks. I really like the sliding door design uh, for the airlocks because you can stick uh, two back to back and you've got an airlock. So I think we'll have uh, airlocks on both sides of the front here, it's large enough. First of course I've got to put in some floor. I'll try and leave the centre here open as much as possible uh, for now. It's good to design it to work uh, under gravity, so I'll be able to put in some gravity generators and some staircases and things like that, so people will be able to get around this part of the ship without jetpacks. That looks like a good spot. I think I have. I better place it again just to make sure. Yeah, that's definitely around the right way. Bingo and airlock. Okay, let's get some walls happening. I think I am going to have to move some of those panels. Yep. I mean, I could take out the whole row uh, to allow the pilot to see forward. But I think it might look a little bit strange. No matter what, the pilot is going to be uh, having problems with uh, a lot of the view being obscured. So I think the cameras are probably going to be a good idea. Third person view should work as well. Okay, now where do we want the floors in here? Uh, maybe I should yeah, build this up a bit more too. Okay, a couple of gaps for windows. I'll put some windows in at the top here, but we're going to need to retrofit some lower down as well I think. Actually I'd like to put some right in the bottom too eventually. Have a glass bottom spaceship. I've seen some really nice designs on the work uh, the workshop, uh, Steam Workshop people building large ships or large sections of large ships completely out of glass panels and look, look absolutely fantastic. But I'm not quite that skilled with the windows. As you will see, when I start placing the windows. 
Especially without the scroll wheel, it makes it a little bit tricky. Seat just here. This looks like a good spot. It's not going to matter a huge amount since they're not going to have a view anyway. But of course, it's always a good idea to put the pilot seat in uh, the center of the ship, at least uh, the center of one of the um, the symmetries. good spot for a camera. Now, from memory, the light goes at the top, but uh, I'll have to check it. I may be completely wrong and the light goes at the bottom. I can't see any label on it. I used to be able to see a label that read camera on the camera. That looks like a good spot too. Okay. I can rotate the ship, that's good. That uh, landing gear, of course, is locked on, so I won't be able to move much. Actually, it can't be locked on if I moved at all. the one thing that I had forgotten putting in up and down thrusters which is pretty important luckily there is still plenty of room in the design to add them there we go and I think I'll need two at the back as well or four rather and the same number on the bottom I think I just have to be careful when I do the bottom ones not to cut into any of the equipment and I'll just need to build this out slightly as a support for these engines Side or go down underneath. Doesn't matter too much where we put them, but they can't be too far forward because I want to shape the front a little bit more needs to be balanced with the back.
I'm not sure if that's the right orientation. Let's see what it looks like if I make it go the other way, the line. Uh, delete these batteries. I think that looks a bit better. Well, it definitely looks like a ship. I'm starting to think from the size of it though, I may not have enough engines. But I can always add more later, so... little bit of sculpting here. Just try and get that nose shape right. I'll be able to shape it more with the sloped blocks. Probably should finish the roof here. Start thinking about uh, making it an airtight space. Just build these up as a base for the window blocks. Uh, they need an attachment point, obviously. So we'll just grab some window blocks and pin them to the toolbar. Just looking for a 1x3. I don't know that there actually is a 1x3. I thought there was at one stage a 1x3 window block.
We'll grab the 2x1 and the 1x1. One one. Now this is where I really miss the scroll wheel on the mouse. And of course, there's a front and a back way, uh, front and a back to the window blocks. So I'll need to turn those around. And that looks good, except unfortunately they're not joining to the blocks behind. It won't be a proper seal, I don't believe, anyway. So I'm going to have to build up the frame around that or sit, set the windows further back. Now I'm just having a look to see if there was an inverse version of the block available. It probably is in the scroll, uh, the blocks, if I selected the one by one and scrolled it. But there doesn't seem to be one here in the toolbar list. Never mind. I can always refine it later. Just want to get the basic structure in place. Just build up a little bit of a frame for the next row of windows. Keep it consistent. Ish. Yeah, it's looking very blocky, but that can be remedied. I guess Recess Windows does work. Probably safer from meteorite strikes and weapon fire slightly recessed. I mean, not perfect, but better than otherwise. It doesn't want to go in the right place. I think it's because that block was missing there, it just, but that shouldn't have affected it. Never mind. I think we'll get it in now. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to see uh, the shadowed block. Yes, I think that's correct. Oh no. Not again. Oh no, is it? I should probably put my... No, it's not. It's not tinting it. Can't be. No, that's not right either. Yeah, maybe from a different angle I'll be able to see it a bit better. Yes, there we go. Okay, now the side windows. And the front windows too, of course. They won't be much good for looking, but they'll be okay for getting some light into the room. I'll use the 2 by one blocks here. There we go. And there we are. Okay, 
funny little corner block there. I'll stick a window in it. Oh, it doesn't look like there's a block missing on that side. I might as well just fill it in, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I probably should have switched on my light a little bit earlier. <laughs> Sorry, audience. There we go. Now these side areas. Okay. There we are. Almost looks like a ship. Still too blocky. And maybe a little bit underpowered too, it looks like. Oh, and there goes the top of the mast. I obviously didn't uh, rejoin it with that block. Oh well, never mind. It's easily fixed. And they do seem to be accelerating at a reasonable rate, which is pretty good. The next test will be to see just how much power we can generate from the solar panels. And see how much uh, the engines are going to be using in the maximum say moving in a diagonal direction okay I think our work here is done uh, for today thank you all for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed and weren't uh, bored senseless uh, by watching me uh, fiddle around and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.